Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Golden Ticket Fight Promotions number 24. We start things off here with a 66 kilogram youth contest, three two minute rounds. Reese Hibbert fighting out of the blue corner. He's in, he represents Iron Fight Club. He's in the black smash short, shorts with white trim as he takes on Intensity's Monty Wedge, the black Round red one. trim. And wow, Wedge couldn't wait to get started. Monty Wedge couldn't wait to get in there and get straight to action. Obviously, the more experienced of these two guys, this is Monty Wedge. This is third contest here as a junior at Golden Ticket Fight Promotions. Reese Hibbert, of course, making his debut. And of course, no strikes to the head here. So. Absolutely. Expect to see a lot of kicks. Yep. Utilizing those kicks to the body and to the legs. And then, of course, when it hits the mat, it becomes a little more technical. There's can't be smashing elbows or ground and pounding, so <laughs> the grappling becomes more technical. Absolutely, yeah. Look to advance the position, work those submissions. At the moment, just a bit of a feeling out process between these two guys on the feet. Yeah, Wedge been the busier of the two at the moment, but Hibbert happy to come forward. Looks to clinch up now. Yeah, getting hit that over under. Looking like. I was going to say they look like Monty Wedge just wanted to look to kind of scoot under that arm and try and potentially take the back of Reese Hibbert, but eventually just disengages from that clinch position. And happy to work again from holding the center of the cage. Lots of strikes, they're throwing lots of strikes to the body. Beautiful takedown, that was really well timed there from But a lovely Reece little Hibbert. scramble. Yeah, straight back to his feet and doing exactly the right thing there, getting yourself up against the fence, using the, uh, the fence for some leverage there. But that's a nice that's throw. A really, that's a really, really good nice throw from him. <laughs> and then throwing those strikes to the body again. Oh, nice little kidney shots there to yeah. soften up the midriff of uh, Absolutely. And of and Wedge. he's got Wedge on his bike for a little bit. But now. Yeah, I can tell you, those aren't pleasant, even with no. those, uh, those bigger amateur gloves that they're wearing. Someone repeatedly... Uh, Pummeling your kidneys, it's, uh, it's not very pleasant. And again, and as the round played itself out the last 15 or so seconds, Wedge Holt regains the center of the cage and starts to work his man around. And, uh, you know, Reese Hibbert making his in cage debut, not looking overwhelmed. Not in the slightest. I mean, looks nice and cool and calm and collected. Certainly looks like uh, he's done this before. Well, I'd like plenty to of reps in the gym, I imagine. Yeah. I'd just like to see him go first. Just set the tone for this round. Set the pace. Don't allow Wedge to hold the center of the cage and sort of back you up. Yeah, Wedge is, is, has been the, the slightly more aggressive of the two in that first round. I think he's throwing his shots with uh, with a little more venom. As you said, he's kind of standing his ground in the center as well and dictating the pace. Reese Hibbert, of course, got that nice little takedown and yep. landed a bit of ground and pound and then obviously dragged Monty Wedge off the, uh, off the fence as well. Yeah, really worked the body as Wedge Round looked to two. try and get that knee underneath him and stand up. But, I mean, Wedge starts quick. Absolutely nice little combination there, though, from Hibbert. And again. And you can see that he really likes that left hook to the body, right hook to the body, and then that low kick. Does Reese Hibbert, that looks like it's his go-to combination. He started a little bit more aggressively in the second round than he did in the first round. Oh, yeah, he's, he's definitely mo thrown more strikes in the first 30 seconds, been a little more active. Hard, hard kick to the lead leg from both. But, yeah, those are the combinations that perhaps he was missing in the first round. He's just, it's not just one, he's following it up two or three and then finishing with the low kick. Yeah, he's, uh, he's throwing those punches in bunches and that's how you tend to land when you, when you throw those multiple strikes. Maybe if the first one or two don't get through, it's the third and the fourth ones that do. And as you said, he was missing that in the first round. He was just throwing the single strikes or, or the one or two strike combinations and... Monty Wedge was, was having the upper hand in the, uh, in the striking in the first round, but a lot more even in the second yeah, round. Yeah, absolutely. Look, ducks under, looks for the takedown. Got under the hips. That's going to be, he's going to take him over. Big slam. Yeah, but beautiful. Got to be careful. Yeah, got to be careful of position, right? 
Yeah, he looks all well and good with the uh, with the big slam for the cameras, but you have to obviously make sure first and foremost that you secure that position. But beautiful technique there from uh, from Reese Hibber with that take. Oh yeah, I mean he hoisted him up like a sack of potatoes and <laughs> deposited him just as unceremoniously. Yeah, just got to make sure in the future that yeah secure that position yeah. first and foremost. But everything else absolutely spot on. Yeah, he changed, he changed levels. He got underneath the hips. He got his man up on the shoulder. I thought we were going to get a Matt Hughes walk to the corner <laughs> slam, but maybe he's a little too young for Matt Hughes. <laughs> maybe a little before his time. <laughs> but again, those two-minute rounds, they don't do the judges any favors at all, do they? No, I mean, that was a very difficult round to score. I'd, I'd be tempted to say it's 1-1 one, one going into the I, third with, with Monty Wedge perhaps taking the first round and... And Reese Hibbert the second round, but I mean, as you say, they're so fast paced. And with two minute rounds, you, yep. there's not a lot of time to work. So it's very fine margins that separate the uh, separate the rounds. But I mean, these these, these junior contests, youth contests, uh, first and foremost about getting that experience and oh, obviously brilliant. putting what you've learned in practice uh, and in the gym uh, under these lights uh, of a natural show, a natural event, I mean, Ultimately, well, you want to win, of course, but, of course, but, but the result at the end of the day, in the, in the, in no, the long run, it's, it's not really important, it's, is it? It's about the experience, exactly, right? Exactly, It's yeah. about the time you get to spend in there. Yeah, just getting used to, to being in the ring, getting used to the eyes on you, the feel of being at an event. The, the lights, the yeah. DJ, the whole kit <laughs> caboodle for these two young men. And again, seems that Hibbert is... Going to try and match the pace of his second round here. Yeah, nice little check there from Monty Wedge, though, from that low kick of, uh, of Reece Hibbert. Just maybe getting to think again about throwing that low kick naked without setting it up. Got Hibbert trying to hold the center of the cage. Wedge might... Might be just the busier of the two so far, but wow, that's like a sheet of toilet paper you can slide <laughs> between them. Yeah, it's so difficult, especially with the uh, with the fact that you can't obviously have the headshots. It's yep. a lot harder. He's to got him up again. Yeah. Oh, oh, beautiful but take again. That, but again, yeah, just losing that position. But high impact slams. High slam, impact so slam. They, I mean, they, they score on the judges' yeah, score goes those impact slams. But yeah, you just want to see. Just maintain that control when he gets those takedowns, but I mean, yeah, he's, he's been to wrestling class. Yeah, well, he, <laughs> I mean, he's taken Wedge right off his feet. I mean, he gets right underneath him, up on the shoulder. And again, Hibbert trying to push forward, and Wedge answers. If it's un unbelievably close, this contest. I've, I've given up even attempting to score this fight. <laughs> Somebody else's problem. <laughs> yeah. I'm just I, enjoying it for what it is. <laughs> and again, a nice flurry to end it from the Iron Fight Club man, Reese Hibbert. And whoo, this is a tight fight. Absolutely, yeah. I wouldn't like to call that. I wouldn't like to be a judge in, uh, in their seats this evening. But uh, yeah, real fun fight. Real fun. Real fun. Action packed, start to finish. Some high impact slams from uh, from Reese Hibbert. Absolutely, and, and a fight that very much played out on the feet as well. You often see with these with these youth fights, more often than not, they land some of the strikes, and then one fighter ends up going for the takedown. And there's a lot of control lot time, of, yeah. but yeah, the, the majority of this fight played out on the feet. There was a lot of action between the two, which makes it even more difficult to score. If Absolutely. Anything. Well, Mr. Lee Thompson is. Going to make his way into the cage in a moment. He's going to have the judges' scorecards. Before he gets in, we'll give a quick shout-out to Therapy with Rob, to Live MMA, and to 411. Let's make this one official. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, after three phenomenal rounds of MMA action, we go to the judges' scorecards where all three judges have reached a unanimous decision. Let's hear it for your winner in the blue corner, Reese 
Kilburn. And your terrific runner-up, Monty Wedge.